I'm Hallie Eisenberg, and you're on the set of How to Eat Fried Worms. Action! This is How to Eat Fried Worms. We thought that the best thing we could do was make this movie as big a gross out for 11 year old boys as it could be. Oh, you. You. Yeah. The greasier, the slimier, the better, you say. I'm hoping that every 11 year old boy in the audience goes, Ugh. Oh. I think that means it's cool for them. I did hear that Billy had to eat an actual worm, which concerns me. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't really eat it. I just like put it in my mouth. Oh. I guess worms are good for you. They're, they are a good source of protein but they're also a good source of dirt, too. Greasy Twizzlers. <laughs> That's what it tasted like. I were boy! It was hard working with kids. I can't deny that. It was difficult just because they had so much energy that wanted to go, wanted to run in every different direction. We had a few scenes where the days were just, we couldn't focus, and we just started laughing for no apparent reason. What's going on? Get back here, you girl. <laughs> You're dealing with that kind of insanity of trying to show them how to remember their lines in the right way and the chaos of you know, basically remembering which scene when you're shooting things out of order. At the same time, there's this kind of magic that comes with that nervous energy. All of us came in on the same flight, and we were all very shy, we didn't know each other. Like, are they gonna like me? Or am I gonna make friends here? But then as we got to go on, we got to know each other. Little by little, it got to be, you know, we know everyone's number, we just go and we'll knock on their door, and then they come out and hang out with us. And it's great, we got to be so close now. I was like, wow, 10 kids, because most of my movies had to do with adults. This is the first time I've gotten to work with kids. I'm just having a really, really great time. There are 10 other kids who are right around my age, and it's just like a big party every day. At Twitch's house, where food was flying everywhere, we actually got all messed up. That was just fun. <laughs> I actually have spaghetti stains all over my shirt. Yes, sir. You see, uh... It's a great place to be having fun, because it's a kid's movie. There's that kid's energy. It's a lot of silliness. I loved, I think, one of my all-time favorite scenes was when I broke out in a dance at the end of the movie. In front of like 112 extra kids, I just started dancing. It's just a long day's work, but I mean, it's fun. I mean, you have fun, so you don't get tired. So you never have to worry about kids coming to the set going, I need more coffee. You got kids coming to the set every day ready to play. And we did, we played a lot. This was like summer camp for all of us. At the Blue Hole, it, it was just so fun. Almost every day, we, we'd just swim the Blue Hole. It, it was so pretty. The weather was between 95 and 105 degrees, and they were 10 boys. It's hot. It's really hot, but it's nice. You guys need to go swimming. And all the time we were shooting there, all they think about was that river. Go underwater, see what you can find. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's just... Perk there. Yeah. If I was a 10-year-old boy, I'd be doing what they're doing right now. I'd just be wanting to play by that river. He was waiting for all of us to push him in. And he was, he was like, okay, ready? Three, Three two, one! Awesome. And we'd all like, we all like jumped in with him. This is our safety diver. Are you nervous? No, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Blast off! I had to learn archery. I went and I got a couple lessons. It's so much fun, I got a few bullseyes. Yeah, so how's that bow work? Well, you have to hold it straight out and then pull back so your thumb is hitting your chin. And then you aim and then let go. In the green room, whenever we go there, everybody's playing foosball and having a good time playing Xbox. These are called devil sticks. I usually don't leave the house without them. They come everywhere with me. Adam, who plays Joe, picked it up right away. He learned in about 
two weeks what I learned in two years. Pretty good, dude. They're swimming together, they're playing together, they're playing Xbox together. There's all different dynamics, completely different personalities all across the board. And we wound up with a group of kids that I think are very authentic human beings. So they come across on camera quite natural, quite real. I, as a director, tried to keep their natural selves in front of the camera. Mr. Dolman actually said to me, I invite you to create your own character. I just want it to be very natural. I created him a lot like me. Magni Fry. Just a kid who's gross and full of life. The personalities of each character hit each boy to a T. I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I think I am a nerd. I'm very close to Donnie in that way. So it wasn't about performing as much as it was keeping as genuine as possible. I am ready for my scene now, ready to cook an omelet. They don't seem like they're show business kids. They don't seem to have big egos. They're very giving to each other. And for all the crew, I think everybody got inspired by the kids, too. Yeah, we got along with the crew. Great. Oh, yeah! We're on fire! Touch it, touch it. The first couple days, you know, we didn't know him, but then after a while, we started getting used to him. He's hot. What can you say? Hot. So this is the real behind the scenes of the movie. And as you can see, it takes a lot of people. So right now I'm in the bait shop where one of the final worms is cooked. And I'm here with the special effects guys, Everett and Craig, and they're going to show us. So I was wondering, how do you make it look like a worm is exploding without actually hurting a real worm? Well, that's a good point. Not hurting a real worm is being our key. So what we did was we made up some special edible goo and also we have to have some worm bits that are shot onto the screen okay. So it's obvious that the worm was blown to bits first We'll place the turntable inside right over top of the air source We're able to take a real worm what we do is we hit him with a little burst of air from underneath in the back here We have a cone okay. and it's also motivated by pressured air that is where the edible goo comes out. It shoots over top of this worm. Can I see how it works? You can close the door. Go. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Microwave worm. Oh, that's so cool. Well, thanks, guys, for showing me the radioactive slime delight worm. Our pleasure, Hallie. Why don't you come back and visit any time? We'll be here. Having this experience of, of being involved in this production will, will be something that, you know, hopefully they can, they can you know, it'll be a positive experience for them. Is this zoom out this way zoom in that way? Turn, the, turn that, see the screen. Some of them were very interested when we had adult actors on. They would come back and say, Bob, is it all right to look at the playback? We want to see how they're doing it. And they really wanted to learn from their more experienced adult actors. The thing about acting that I really like is being able to go to different places and step inside somebody else's shoes. They're in there saying, faster, faster, and so it's very confusing because they're saying, cook it, but you know Uncle Ed's coming back, so you're just all over the place. <laughs> the director, Bob Dolman, he's so wonderful. He's never condescending to any of the kids. He'll work to get the reaction out of you nicely. He'll like show us how to do it. He won't just tell us. So just remember that when we come around, that when this thing goes, it's <gasps> Follow that thing, chase it like you're desperate, okay? He's like, okay, guys, you need to get this bigger. All right, ready, watch. I am Wormboy! Big, jumping, laughing, boasting, hitting your stomach. Stomach us! He just goes full out on it. He doesn't He doesn't hold anything back. He's like, wow! When the guys belch, yeah! High five, and when he belches, even better. Bob is out there. And um, with the kids, he's shouting things, you know, as they're going in the middle of the scene, encouragement or do this, do that. Now watch Worm Boy. He's starting to shake. Really react, you guys. Looks like he's going nuts. In order to direct these kids, I had to let myself have fun. Who knows what he's going to say to you? I'm calling your mothers. I know you've been eating worms. Whoa, what's going to happen? I just let myself go in that. I mean, you know, I'm not a young person, but I just let my whatever's youthful in me, I just tapped into it. And I have access to it. Nobody rests. This is a scene in which a lot's happening, and a lot more is about to happen. Worms just fell on the guy's face. Stay interested. Okay, guys, here we go. Gross out times. I mean, I had to have discipline. I had to have authority. 
but I did also want to come from their place and understand their energy. He's just really energetic, and he just wants this to be a great movie. As soon as he hits, you're going to say, Pete, that was not part of the bit. Your hands will be burned to crisp, OK? <laughs> Try it again. He just loves us so much. He just loves all the kids so much. Thanks for coming to the set of How to Eat Fried Worms. I got to go.